Hello everyone, this is the Pyromaniac dude and this is my first tutorial. We are going to do some fancy explosion with Cinema 4D and Turbulence FD with Redshift Render. Let's jump into it. So, first thing first, we're gonna need a big container. Let's make it 400, 400 and 400. Let's place it to the ground. Uh, we need a sphere and um, it's a lot of segments. It's pretty big. We don't need that. So let's make it like 200. Yeah, here we are. Let's place it somewhere like that. Um, the next thing we're going to do is uh, add some displacement to the sphere. And why we need that is because the displacement will guide the shape of the simulation and the explosion. Uh, let me show you. Let's save that <laughs> first. Um, okay, we will add some noise to it. Let's make like, I don't know, change something you like. Uh, I don't know. Let's crank up the global scale. And uh, I don't know, use fire. Fire is always good. So yeah, we like that. Okay. The next thing we're gonna do is add some turbulence FD text to the sphere. And we need to animate a few things. First of all, we need to animate the sphere. Like, I don't know, at frame five, zero. At frame, I don't know, frame eight, let's make it a little bit bigger. And let's make it zero again. Yes. Um, so let's set up this emitter. First of all, we're gonna animate the radius to like start at four centimeter, and at the end it will, I don't know, zero point five. Okay. Um, what we need to do is set up volume texture. Um, let's make it fire again because fire is good. And crank it up the scale. And we're gonna use fuel and burn for this time. So let's set up the container. And what we're gonna do is add some vorticity and turbulence let's crank it up and we're gonna use intensity so turn this on fuel we need to tweak a little bit like the fuel diffusion is 0 0.3 we need some expansion like i don't know it's up to you guys i don't like to crank it up so much because it will uh, you generate some artifacts and we don't want to uh, don't want that okay so let's make it 0. Point, I don't know 6 the temper temperature emission is 6 and the density emission is 12 let's turn on the burn 2 and add a simply 0 here okay and after all, we almost done, I guess. Um, yes, we are done. And turn off this update editor timeline because we don't need that and this will slow down the whole simulation thing. And let's go. Until we waiting for this simulation, we're going to set up the 
materials and uh, the Redshift render. First of all, we need Redshift volume material. And we are going to use density and temperature. Okay. Um, let's drag and drop this little fella to the Turbulence FD container. Let's see how this goes. Okay, we are almost done. Um, so let's tweak this shader a little bit. Um, okay, first of all, let's tweak the emission remap ramp, aka the color of the explosion. Usually, I use this flame one because it's almost done and um, looks really good, but you know what? How this going? Okay, we're almost done. Um, until that we are waiting, we are going to set up the render settings. So, let's change it to Redshift. We are going to use some advanced settings, so don't be scared. Let's turn off automatic sampling. We don't need that. And the filter size is going to be one and one because um, it's way more faster and I only have one GPU so <laughs> it's way more faster than leaving it four but it's up to you guys you can see how it goes so um, yes that's all um, at the global illumination we are going to change the secondary engine to brute force and crank up the brute force GI. I don't know. Um, like that. And I think, yeah, we are almost done. Yeah, we are done. So let's see what's going on. Okay, I like it. So, let's see how it goes. Okay. Um, we are going to add some light to see what's going on. A dome light and turn off the background. Don't need that and turn on the contribution scale so we will see the details and much more beyond that okay let's uh, crank up the samples too and see what's going on yeah um let's tweak it a little bit more um, like that. We need to copy this little fella and yeah, I like it. Maybe it's too much. So that's all guys. I hope you liked it and um, show me your renders and tag me on it soon i will start my own patreon site so we are going to deep dive in the settings in redshift and turbulence fd2 see you next time and thank you for watching